Hi guys, on this video I wanted to show a softer retrofit for the Jonata 720. This is one of my favorite devices of my collection. Uh, it originally runs Windows CE 3.0, uh, that's a classic, probably one of the best versions of Microsoft Windows CE. But uh, fortunately it got old and obsolete, like everything else, uh, and uh, with that the device got obsolete as well. There is not much you can do on Windows CE 3.0 nowadays. Uh, the browser that comes built in is pretty outdated, it's pocket Internet Explorer, can't open anything, you can't even connect to modern networks. So it's really, it's really frustrating to use it for uh, today's tasks. You could uh, just, uh, for the sake of nostalgia, just use that with the old softwares and programs that you have, but it's very limiting. So I wanted to show uh, what can we do to make this device still usable in 2021. Um, folks there at HPC Factor, uh, I'm known as NTWare there, by the way, uh, have come up with an idea of running Linux on this uh, old device. A guy named Stefan, uh, Dev Null, that's his nickname there, he compiled Linux kernel for the Jonada. And uh, it's a very modern and recent version of the kernel. So this is what I have running now here. Uh, instructions on how to compile and, and load the Linux kernel on the Jonada are there on the HPC Factor forum. Uh, but as you can see here, I'm running Linux uh, 3.16, uh, which is uh, main, uh, pretty recent, right? Um, so the idea here is what can we do with this? Once we have Linux there, uh, possibilities are endless, right? I can do anything with Linux. The only problem are the resources. This device runs on a strong ARM CPU uh, that is running at 206 megahertz and it only has 32 megabytes of RAM. So it's pretty low spec for, for Linux even. I only have X running here on Fluxbox and it's already taking 11 megabytes out of the total 28 megabytes on my system. So there is not much you can do here. Pretty much anything you try to load here will take forever to launch. So I try to come up with a different approach. What can we do to make this thing faster and usable in 2021. So the solution is network. On Windows CE, we're really limited to network, uh, mostly cable network only, or if we went to Wi-Fi, would be only open Wi-Fi networks because Windows CE does not support the encryption that we have nowadays on our networks, uh, WPA, WPA2, and etc. So you would have to have an open Wi-Fi at home if you want to use network on Windows CE over Wi-Fi. But this is different on Linux, of course. Uh, with Linux, we can add support for anything we want and more recent drivers and, and devices and all of that. So here I have um, a PC card. This is um, um, Linksys. Uh, I don't know what exactly what model I have here. A network PC card. Uh, the, the, the important thing of this device is that it's based off the Prism 2 chipset. This is the most supported chipset uh, for, for the Jornada Linux that we have running here. So the Prism 2 supports WPA encryption and it works out of the box, right? So you just insert the, the card in uh, and it starts loading up the driver and everything. I do have an, a, a script here that I use only to connect to my Wi-Fi and set up, um, you know, everything I need, DHCP and all of that. Uh, if needed, I can share the contents of the the script but i will just run this now uh, it's loading a, a a newer version of the firmware into the card and then i'm connecting there and now all right let me see if i have connection here i do so it's all good uh, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi and uh, now I can do more interesting stuff. So one of the things I've set up a virtual machine for me to connect to, I set up this virtual machine just for this video. And what I'm going to do, I'll connect to that virtual machine over SSH. Uh, my username there at 192.168.0.95. SSH takes a little bit because, yeah, this is an old device, 
Uh, now the password is Jornada. I'm making sure I'm typing it correctly. So now that I'm on my server, uh, this thing is a lot better, of course. Uh, I can have multiple cores, uh, eight gigs of RAM, and all, all of the good stuff, right? And it's definitely running on a much newer kernel as well. Problem is, well, I don't wanna be limited to terminal typing commands. So what can I do with this graphically, right? So one of the things is to use VNC. VNC is pretty good. It's like a remote desktop that is video stream based. So it's really lightweight on the client and that's what we are looking at because this thing cannot run uh, too much. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is to just uh, start VNC server here. And I'm gonna pass as a parameter exactly the screen size of my Jornada. 640 by 240. So it has loaded the um, VNC server and now I can exit here. So I'm back to the Jornada, right? Uh, the main Linux running on top of uh, this device. Uh, so what I will do here, I do have uh, X Tiger VNC viewer installed on this uh, bare minimum Linux running on my Jornada. But this software allows me to connect to a VNC server and display its contents on the screen. So this is the best thing to do. Uh, it will allow me to, you know, have access to a faster machine uh, wirelessly so that's that's pretty cool so as much as configurations go i just wanted to show the options here uh, the only thing you should be worried about when you're doing this is to make sure that uh, vnc is loading up in full screen right because you want to use the maximum amount of screen you can so the only thing i change here is in the screen making sure that full screen mode is enabled and that's all you should care about and now uh, the IP address is already correct. Let me just connect to it. It now asks for my password, Jornada, and here we go. I'm there at my virtual machine. So things now are much faster. So um, here I have the terminal. I, I like this thing to be very minimum just to use the full uh, screen real state. I could uh, load a, a, a better window management, but that would probably take up my entire screen. So I just loaded terminal. This is running LXD, which is very minimal as well. And I can do like uh, browse my files here. You see, it's pretty quick. Uh, I can go into applications and I can go and play around with something. Uh, let's go on internet and see what we have here, Firefox. So you see Firefox loads up blazing fast. I can go full screen on Firefox. So for example, let me just open something really cool here, HPC factor. <laughs> so you see it loads up really quickly. I can zoom out, zoom in as much as I want. Uh, let's see what's up on HPC factor. Let's see, uh, people are asking for a compact flash. So I can just uh, go there. Sometimes it's hard to click, but here I am and I can zoom in and uh, see the contents, answer people, blah, blah, blah. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I can do other cool stuff as well. Uh, I can go to New York Times, see the news, what's up there, right? So browsing here is pretty, uh, it's a delight really. It's a very portable device good screen for for its age and uh with this solution with a softer retrofit it works pretty well you see like you can go and browse and do whatever you want you can zoom out and have more like a desktop version of the site well i can even if i want i can go to youtube and uh watch something right how about a review on the Jornada 720. Let me see if this thing is a search box. Let, let me see if there's anything up here. So you see, um, it's pretty cool. 
you can uh, load videos it's playing in real time uh, we don't have audio yet but this could be something that uh, could be added later I know audio over VNC is a bit complicated I, I don't even know how feasible that that would be but um, you see uh, playback is really smooth you can still um, use it even to you know watch something on YouTube um, and of course you can launch other programs as well uh, you can uh, one of my favorite is mousepad to program something so you can just go and include your uh, and just start writing your C program if you want right it's pretty cool uh, pretty good device uh, start here printf and uh, hello world so yeah the possibilities are endless right uh, you can do pretty much anything you want here uh, and it works very well so this is a, a suggestion I have for people that want to retrofit their Jonatas is a very good option all you gotta do is to have a you know a server somewhere. It could be a Raspberry Pi. It could be anything really that you can connect to. And uh, this thing is completely wireless, right? So it runs uh, with the Wi-Fi card. Batteries will last forever, and uh, it's really cool. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Uh, if you wanna see something else on this device, just let me know. Post in the comments. Thank you.